I think we did mention it earlier, but that ASML are the only company in the world that can produce this machine for the chip of this quality. So if that's not a monopoly, I don't, yeah, I don't know what it is. Exactly. But what that also means is they are heavily reliant on this aspect of their business because I think yeah, majority of their revenue comes from it. Obviously, most of their people are devoted time to it. So I always think with technology, um, you know, it, technology ex grows exponentially. So that you've got to try and think in a way what's coming in the future. And to be honest, no one, none of us knows. Who, who knows what type of chip could be invented next or what type of machine could be invented next for the next sort of set of chips. So you know, you've always got to look, be forward thinking and, and not just be um, stuck in, you know, in, the, in the current model. If, if you're a market leader, you've just got to constantly innovate and go for it. Um, ASML, like we've that's previously on the share price, they seem to have done a good job over the years, going all the way back to 1995, have maintained a really good compound annual growth rate over 20% growth. 